Hey there scientists, today we're going to do an experiment to learn about how your microwave works. For this experiment, you're going to need a bag of mini marshmallows, a microwave safe plate, and of course your microwave oven. Now before we get started, let's talk a little bit about what a microwave is. Microwaves are part of the electromagnetic spectrum. This includes things like visible light that you can see, and also things like x-rays, gamma rays, or radio waves. Now for this experiment, you're going to want to pour your mini marshmallows onto your plate. I have one here that I've already done. So for this, uh, you'll want them all to be touching, but not stacked. Once you have them out, put them in your microwave. For this, if your microwave has a turntable, you'll want the turntable turned off. It won't work if your turntable is on. So you can put them in here for about 15 to 30 seconds, depending on the strength of your microwave. So while that's warming, let's talk about how your microwave works. So microwaves work because they're at the resonant frequency of water. Now you can think of the resonant frequency kind of like when you're swinging and you pump your legs to go higher and higher. So the resonant frequency is like pumping your legs. It makes the water molecules vibrate faster and faster, which makes them warmer and warmer, and then in turn makes your food warmer and warmer. So microwaves, as the name suggests, and it's all things in the electromagnetic spectrum, travel in waves. And so this means they go up and they go down. The top is the crest, the bottom is the trough, and the middle is called the node. There's a picture of this in the written instructions. So at the top and the bottom, at the crest and the trough, is where there's the most energy. At the node, there's no energy. So if you look at your marshmallows, you'll see regions where they're extremely puffed or melted up together, and regions where they're slightly melted, and then other regions where they're not puffed or melted at all. So the regions where they're puffed is where there's either a crest or a trough in the microwave. Regions where they're not puffed or melted together at all is where there's a node. And so by looking at how your marshmallows are melted or not melted, you can see how your microwave travels through the food and in your microwave oven. You can do this experiment again with your turntable on to look at the difference and think about why you have turntables. Now, go grab some chocolate and a graham cracker and make yourself a s'more. Have fun exploring.